evening. This is called Beautiful Swimmers, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Pull back the head. Alicinda teaches the art of beheading enthusiastically. The other composers face her with lumps in their throats and crabs between their fingers like thick bar strings. They all have rhythm but are woefully out of sync, splattering flesh across the tab table in brutal sixteenths. Open his belly, pull all that stuff out. Under the armored apron, its gender revealed the male's belly and inverted T, a phallus to me. The female broad as the Venus of Wollendorf, a crab with hips. The master strikes delicacy, a bloated sponge crab. Its orange eggs pop like fatty diamonds to suck. Pull off the arms, harder, as if she was stamping flamenco. Suck out the meat, as if that instruction is needed. Toss the gutted body. Our slop bucket is brimming with legs, torsos, claws, and glorious but rejected eggs. I soar above the carnage, rejoicing in my crablessness, and sink my silver spoon into the table's communal gumbo. This is flamenco. One of the composers is on top of our table, her red skirt flowing, dancing on the cracked apron at the Selenectus Sabbatus, Greek for beautiful swimmer, throwing morsels of its pale treasure into our gaping mouths. I love rain. I wake in strange cities. I lecture on rain. I turn off the light. I love my work. I fill the sky with rain. Watching it fall back on blank leaves, then all day going into the sky. When we were lying together that night, you said every pronoun, and I couldn't stop laughing. There is nothing better than watching your lover smile. In each city, I keep the same necklace on the wall facing my desk. It's a triangle of mother of pearl. I don't know where it came from. I claimed it when my stepmother tried to sell it in a garage sale. Right now it hangs next to a picture of two lovers who are wrapped in storm clouds. Street signs, convolutions, and other California coincidences. One, somehow the bus driver drove his mammoth rush hour machinery into my father's head, dropping him to the Market Street asphalt, dazed but not yet dead. His high yellow body sprawled momentarily, his mind stuck at work, keen cells into the old school register on the Vins Auto Supply stick glass counter. Two, on a Chicago Boulevard, wind and conspiring trees, the street signs that surround us sing California, Sacramento, Richmond, and Francisco. A sturdy sunburnt grain man cutting the rowdy grass outside the corner church says he too is called Francisco. I say it is also the name of my wife's late brother. Three. In the Volvo on the way to Zion, Illinois, we wear out Jose Feliciano's song. He is not the only Californian dreaming. Four, in Patricia's mind, Livingston is Shangri-La, 20 minutes outside Modesto, California. She picks grapes sweet with sunshine from a meandering bush enveloping a neighbor's mailbox. Another neighbor from India brings a basket of blue chicken eggs and remembers the bucket of tangerines her father, Rafino, handed him over a fence he built himself. Five. Twenty years after the crippled smile froze to the left side of my father's stroke-shaped face, I unknowingly arrived where Levin's once stood, 
illustrious temple of cultural philanthropy where spark plugs, tailpipes, and distributor caps once hung from the walls, creativity is prominently displayed, shuffled, rejected, sustained, and I sell art where my father sold auto parts. <laughs> Chestnut back chickadee. I think okay, being closely held allows us to return. We return, yes? I was disguised as an apartment block. People would live in me and would not care to know, but I would know. Each chickadee, their dreams would represent my thoughts. I know what you call me, but I move so much slower than one. Mixed blocks stay together because the chickadees call out whenever they find a good source of food. This calling out forms cohesion, allowing other birds to find forage more efficiently. In winter, distributing small stashes into many hiding places. I'm so little, and you're so sprawled. I keep mattering, and you keep up with your dogs. I'll eat out of your hand, I don't mind being in the middle of your story. I'll be your little. You'll say, why are you hiding in all my disguises, church? But I'm not slow, I'm deliberate. And to be deliberate is erotic because it means you are choosing. I've never forgotten that. No one is going to replace my eyes with glass eyes and no one is gonna stuff me after I die. If the parts of me believed responsible for, so for song learning undergo cycles of death and regrowth, I won't stand still for it. So it's allowing birds like chestnut back chickadees to forget last year's tunes and instead master new ones. A bunch of us are collective, but we heal. And the earth includes us, and we hide seeds within it. And the earth upon which apartments stand say, okay, you're a nation now. Unless you're a bird, you're only a little bit of bird. Hallucinating at the Velvet Lounge to Malachi Thompson, Chicago, April 25th, 2004. When Malachi blew his horn, I dreamed of cornbread. Yellow mounds with burnt edges on the velvet's culinary altar. His sharp cut rifts morphed into squares of cornbread islands, floating in streams of warm butter, clinging to the ribs of my memory, speaking in trumpet tongues of passages and uprisings, ancient pain and good times jiving, sacred beats and blues timing, drive by crying and signifying, an opiate inside of oppression. A cratered chunk of bacon-infused sweet potato, chicken-smothered maple pecan, custard-filled, smackling, crackling, jalapeno-inflamed cornbread. The creep of the slaves now sold at Whole Foods in this jazz-drenched town built of golden bricks and smokestacks, billowing fumes of corn on the cob and catfish, my mind lost in music and metaphysics reminiscing the Sunday manna served beside my mother's succotash. Blue country. I am no longer lost in your blue country. From this wet hole I yell at you. I walk naked through your condominium. I am a magpie, a bastard. I collect pigeon eggs. I throw them at you. They turn into pigeons and steal your hair. I am happy that way. When Americans die, they'll be forced to carry all of their possessions, box by box, up and down ladders. They'll have to dismantle their priceless furniture and push the pieces through narrow doors. The angels will steal their clothes and no one will help them. Because I am a train that will not run on time, I am a businessman with an empty briefcase, a sales clerk without a watch. I want to buy your house and fill it with mice. I want to turn your dogs against you. I am reading a spy novel. It's for your own good. 
When you blow up the world of this, I am certain, you'll have to clean it up. All the plastic and aluminum will poke at you. Water and sponges will laugh at you. Rags will laugh at you. You will cry out in the dark for wigs and shoes. You will look and never find them. You will say, long ago, and remember when. And you will treasure my teeth like little jewels. And when I am laughing, you will see the sun for the very first time. You will stop in your red cars and wonder, where did it go? all of those years, and you will not know, because I will not tell you.